Vision is behind the making of runners. day of December 2020. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is applying grace to overcome weaknesses. The Bible says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Titus chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. Thought for the day. When you identify the weakness in your life that Satan wants to capitalize on to take you to hell, apply for the grace of God. The grace of God is needed to overcome the weaknesses of life. The grace of God is needed because people are confronted with diverse kinds of weaknesses. Hebrews 12.1 refers to these weaknesses as the sins which doth so easily beset us. These sins which Satan uses to pull people down are unique to different people. For example, there are people who don't drink alcohol or smoke cigarettes, but when they are tempted with money matters, they would easily fall even though they appear to be fervent Christians. Some people can be praying in tongues, yet cheating people. It may be a generational weakness. People in a particular family may be known for or identified with a certain kind of weakness. So identify the weakness in your life and then ask God for the grace to deal with it. So when you identify the weakness in your life that Satan wants to capitalize on to take you to hell, you then apply for the grace of God. The grace makes you to say no to sin. Titus 2, 11 and 12. When you are confronted with sin, you tell God, Lord, I need your grace to overcome this sin, this alcoholic tendency, this humanizing tendency, this immorality tendency, this pornographic addiction, this habit of lying or cheating or whatever it is. And as you apply for grace, also apply physical caution or safeguard. For example, if you know that your problem is lying, gossip or exaggeration or betraying people then reduce the way you talk simple beloved as you apply for grace to overcome your weaknesses you shall overcome the enemy and his temptations in jesus precious name remember this when you identify the weaknesses in your life that Satan wants to capitalize on to take you to hell, apply for the grace of God and God will help you through in Jesus' name. What's our assignment? Number one, identify the weaknesses in your life. And number two, always apply for the grace of God to overcome the weaknesses of your life. And thirdly, be cautious in life and don't take the grace of God for granted. Don't misuse the grace of God. Don't use the grace of God as an opportunity for more sins to be committed by you. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, O oh Lord, I apply for your grace to overcome the weaknesses of my life. I receive your help, O oh Lord, to say no to sin. Help me to maintain uprightness of life by your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. You want to be born again? Simply say this, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person in Jesus' name. And it's your birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Happy birthday to you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you and grant you a very wonderful birthday gift in this season in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day. Peace.